What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another uh, Singleton um, video, I guess we'll call it that. Guys, give me a... Um, can we do Merfolk? Is Merfolk an option? Do I have any good Merfolk? We can go... Yeah, that's fine. Can't be blocked. Trickster, you're actually fine in this one particular situation. And let's also show the ones I don't own. I'm sure there are some gems. Uh, I don't care about that. I don't have any miscloak heralds. Wow. Yikes. That's a yikes. Jace is sentinel? Get out of here. Jace doesn't have any sentinels. That's just ridiculous. I don't know if I care about this. Maybe I do. Can't be blocked by dinosaurs. Relevant. Creatures you control with plus one plus one counters on them can be blocked. Yeah, well that's not like the Merfolk don't really do that. Ooh, yeah, that guy seems great. Tempest Caller seems great. Can't be blocked. Well, yeah, I don't care about that guy. And then you get to like the 10 mana creatures and you're like, mm, no. Uh, Jade Bearer is fine. Kamina Speaker is great. Deep Root Champion is good. Deep Root Elite is good. Can't be long fighting yet. No. Branch Walker, obviously. Jade Light Ranger. Boon. Pioneer. Mystic for sure. Uh, do Hadana's climb. Yeah, that Universal Simulation video is gasoline, dude. Uh, Tishana might be a little expensive. Kumina is not. Mistbinder is great. That seems good. That seems good. Tatiova seems fine as like a top end. Combine Guild Mage is just a good Merfolk with some abilities. Whenever it attacks with the top three cards and it dies, that's not really like what we're looking for here. I definitely don't care about you. Four Elven Hounds and search Merfolk on top. Whenever Merfolk hands off, I'll put one counter on it. Not terrible. Uh, target Merfolk you control against Hexproof. That actually seems pretty good. I can see. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3 at the very least. Um, which card? You said the Explorer Enchantment. The... I forgot what it was called. I can just search for Explorer here. And these two colors, my dudes. Explorer's Vanguard. No. It was Path of Discovery. Which is the one right next to it. Whenever creature gears battle is explores. Is that better than Guardian Project? I don't know. What is banner? Nothing showed up in banner. Oh, we got a there you go. Um, yeah, I like that. That seems good. I also want Hadana's climb. Let's do an Essence Capture. Let's do a Wizard's Retort. I kind of like Exclusion Mage. It's not a Merfolk, but it's still pretty good. Same with Frilled Mystic, obviously. Eh... Shaper Sanctuary could be good. It's also, it's like Gaia's two mana green sorcery. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Gaia's Blessing? What does that do? 
Three, two, unblockable. Or focus, nice to bounce your stuff. What does that do, though? anti miltech that is actually interesting it might be worth it in the singleton matches where um let's look up land memorial to genius is a good one i kind of like rivers rebuke that seems like a nice top end right And then you just want to put in like the, all the good cards like Rivian Reed. I'll put a River's Rebuke and not a Karn's Temporal Sundering. Sleep is also pretty good. Let's go to Simic, Hunterland, Hunterland, Woodland Stream. We'll just put all four. Uh, unclaimed territory is also good. Naming Merfolke. I mean, I, the reason I didn't include sleep is because we also have Tempest Caller, which is also a sleep. Uh, it, technically. But we do get one more slot. We can put in sleep, but I want to make sure we're like done, done. Done, done. Crashing tide. Why isn't that showing up, though? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Yeah, that seems good. Sleep does seem good. Is a creature a permanent? It's got to be a creature, right? Yeah, okay. So we need to take out one thing now. We can actually probably take out a land. Maybe. I don't love that. If this wasn't a counter, I wouldn't care, but considering it's a counter, I like it. We can probably cut one land, actually. I think that should be fine. So this is 8, 9 to 9, and then everything else is equal. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And we'll use Kumina as our... I have no idea if this deck's going to be any good, but it feels like they're pairing us against similar, like, like costed decks, maybe? All right, here we go. Keep one green in the sand is great. That's pretty nice. Uh, 
cast a non-creature spell. Oh, this actually deeper champion might not be great in this deck, unfortunately. We don't have that many non-creature spells. But if we get to cast if we draw another land, we can keep up if we draw another blue source specifically, we can keep up essence capture and play silver to land up. Oh, that's oh that was very good. Please do not no, please. Can't block and it's activated. Yeah, sure. What? Oh, I was like, why can't I counter that? And then I knew. I knew why. Uh, library seems fine for that. I feel like we're okay here. I mean, unless they go cleansing level, but then they've already committed two cards to this. This drew us a card, so this is a wash. And that's basically... Yeah, that's fine. That's actually surprisingly obnoxious. Maybe we should have countered that. I don't think I care that much. Block here, sure, take three. Yikes. We stand together. I will yeah. lend you my strength. Is that vigilance? I don't think so. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, we did it. Oh, if you hit all attackers now, you can choose planeswalker or player. That's nice. That was nice. It popped up an arrow. That was pretty cool. So we can go deep root champion into deep water, deep root waters, deep root into deep root, and then we can play two merfolk. That seems good. Say no attacks here. Next time we get to play two Merfolk, make two one ones with hexproof. That seems really powerful. That is, that is your prerogative, my dude. Pump this attack for six. Yikes! This is a, a lot of things happening here. Remember the Merfolk is a battlefield under control, but one kind of Merfolk. Yeah, we're definitely playing that guy instead. That's a nice board. I'm okay with it. Hexproof is uh, 
It's pretty nice. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can also seven them sleep. I'm sorry, what does this do? Creatures that flying can't block. Three, four, five. We are now at two life, and any spell kills us. Well, that was quick. The one one called the one with perma prowess. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'll keep this because of branch walker. And if we hit any blue sources, it's okay. Of the devil. The one that puts counters, deep root something, deep root champion, maybe. nice because now we can play Kopala. They're both called Deep Root something. Just look up Deep Root and you'll, you'll find them. Here, I'll do it for you and I'm streaming. The one that gets a counter when you cast a non-creature spell is Deep Root Champion. I got you. Mist Caller? No, that's a, that's a little shit burger. I can't multitask. I'm sick. You mean like permanently? I think we're in a legal path here. Because next turn we can play two things if we draw a two drop. No attacks. Not a merfolk, but still a strong dude. Also a strong dude. There we go. Now we're talking. Wow, you're just giving me all the lands here, huh? Okay. Pretty sure we're still in no attacks mode. End of turn, we can draw a card. Does it tap five Merfolk? Yeah, all right, so we can play this guy, play this. We can play both of these. Yeah, that's good. They have like a thousand cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, seven cards. Jesus. Yep, that's annoying. Pass. Can't imagine they attack here. Pass. Three, draw a card. Adonis climb. And a 1-1? One, one? Okay, so... We can play this, play this. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana total if we play this. I mean, I think we're definitely playing two things. Probably like Shaper and Adonis climb here. 
No, please, no, please use the, the, the unclaimed territory. Thank you. Um, Shaper. Why is my time taking down already? I feel like I've taken no time this turn. Uh, library is fine. And then we play land, Adonis climb. And next, we're going to go EOT, put a counter on all these guys. Jade Bearer is going to put some counters on this guy. This, cause this could get out of hand pretty, pretty quickly, but... Yeah, that's fine. Like, we're just hoping to draw sleep here. Cyborg Yui, what's going on? Hadana's kind of flipping is also pretty insane. Nope, don't want that. Pass. I don't foresee them attacking with anything here. And we also get unblockable here, unblockable here. We can give another guy float. Yep, you got that. Okay, well, let's play Exclusion Mage first. Bounce the Tenderfoot Dryad. And now we can play one, two, we don't have three green, unfortunately, because we used it all. So let's play this. Triple, triple explore. Oh, now we have another green, all right. like we're going off here can we just kill them six <laughs> uh if we tap another merfolk to give kumina unblockable we have one two three four so that's not worth it i don't know if i want to flip Hadana's climb here but we have five lands in hand that's pretty sad we're just gonna go all in on the river sneak because it flips next turn like it just kills them next turn can't be blocked all right Half of my heart is Habana Onana. What does that even mean? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can just tap five. Put a counter on all these guys. Which makes our blocks significantly good. That is unfortunate, my dude. You got it. One, two, three, four. Wait, why didn't they... Spells, okay. That is an effect. Are they one short? Yeah, wait, what's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five and four, okay. So, can we kill you? Uh, we put a we put this is a six. This is a seven. This is a six seven seven six seven unblockable. Yeah, this is this is this is a game, right? Uh, can't be blocked. I will tap two two submit. What does this do? Target creature control is flying in where it's power. Target this guy.
Got him. God, merfolk are so powerful, guys. They're so powerful. If you disagree, you're wrong. Guys, what should I have for dinner? We'll keep this hand. We got a one drop, two drop, three drop. Yeah, I've done this climb when you can flip it is pretty busted. Oh, food is a good choice. Solid strategy. Ty is not an option for me, unfortunately, because I stream until they close. Um. Wow. Next turn, we're going to draw this and play this. We have to be, there has to be another land on top. I'm going to keep it. We have two draw steps to hit it. Like, we have two, two cards that actually... I'm actually leaning towards pizza, to be quite honest. Discard two cards? Crying out loud. I want to keep this because this just gets us back into the game if we get to draw it. Yep. Return a creature and opponent controls. That's a good one. What are you getting rid of? It? You're going to run my one creature? God, you're rude. Oh, this is great. We can bounce that guy. Nope. One, two, three. Keep up the green because we have another island if we really want that. Draw two? This is why we do it, guys. This is why we do it. Nope, not that one. This tiny little guy. Oh, uh, it's got to be more folk. Sure, I'll just put on the... That's another one? Alright, well, we're just gonna... <laughs> sure. Whatever you want to do. So they block here, which is fine, because it's a 2-4. And then we get to draw three, no matter what here. That's also very good. Or they could block the two. It's a trade here, this does nothing. Okay. Do they have a pump spell? That'd be so bad. That's pretty gross. I... am pretty saddened by that. That makes me want to cry! Sure. We actually should have drawn a card last turn because they, we can't block this guy anyway. And then if we draw like a tapped land... Okay, we did not. It's actually okay. Oh, River Herald's boon. Are they just dead? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, these guys have lifelink. We can put two counters on you. We can go one, one, two, three, four, five. Make you unblockable. <laughs> but then we're only dealing four. God, we're really close. It's very close. All 
I really just don't want them to make bats, I guess, but I think we're actually okay to swing out here. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, there's a lot of decisions to be made here. I think there's no attacks here. We just put counters on our guys next turn. Or draw cards. Like, we can draw two or put all... Like, yeah, it's just pass. Yeah, so now we just make this guy unblockable and put two counters on it. Uh, tap another Merfolk. This guy. Got him! All right, 3-1, we're doing it. Oh, one, one land, huh? Your opponent goes first. If we hit another land in the next two turns, we have, I'm gonna keep it. We have three two drops, four two drops. What's my favorite line from Rushmore? Wow, that's a good question. Uh, it's when Max's... It's when Max's dad says, you're like one of those old shipper clip captains. Shipper... Clipper ship captains. And Max goes, that's true. And I've been out to sea for a long time. It's a very good line. Um, let's discard a big card. You ever been in the shit? Yeah, I've been in the shit. <laughs> That's a good line, man. That whole movie is gas. God, Wes Anderson is a treasure. I think we're gonna lose here because we didn't get lands. You're like one of those old shipper, clipper ship captains. You're married to the sea. Yes, that's true. But I've been out to sea for a long time. All right, well, 3-2 is fine, I guess. Oh, Max is a great character. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. All right, well, 3-2. Three, three, Merfolk did not have it. Merfolk did not have it. Is vampires an option? Can we do vampires? I just want to play all these cool tribal decks that seem like they're actually uh, kind of viable in in uh, in Singleton. I don't know how to get out of this screen. Like you just have to click outside of it. There's no like box. There's no Xbox on here. Like am I like you just have to click outside of it, which isn't here. So you have to click on like these tiny bars on the top and bottom to get out. That's weird. There should be like I even hit escape and it just brings me to the options. I don't think he's delusional. I think he's... I, I don't think it's delusion. Like, it's definitely... He's just a dreamer. He's just a dreamer, man. What are these? Bars for ants? <laughs> I like how we just went from Wes Anderson to... Uh, to to Zoolander. That's nice. Okay, so what are we looking at? I was going to go... Singleton Vampires. All right. You may say Max Fisher is a dreamer, but he's not the only one. That was a solid, uh, a solid meme there.
Oh, this I didn't know blood blood operative was a uh, was a, was a vampire. That's actually sick. I mean, I'm not playing it because there's no surveil, but ooh, Twilight Sanctum, perfect, perfect. Bishop is a nice top end guy along with uh, two bishops, two five mana bishops. Champion of Dusk also pretty good. Vampire Sovereign is basically just uh, Siege Rhino, right? Oh, Haunt we can play Haunt of Hightower? Yes. This is everything I've ever wanted. Call the Feast. Fauna? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Eh, this guy's... Eh. Do we have all the cards I don't have? There we go. Actually, Martyr's good. Siege Flino. That's actually... That's solid. Inspiring Cleric actually seems good against the aggressive decks. I think that's actually fine. What are we, what are we missing here? 2-3 um, Flyer for 3 is okay. 4 of the Legion. Target Creature gets plus 1, plus 1 till end of turn. That's actually not... I don't love it. I actually don't hate Squire's Devotion. It does make a Vampire, and it gives you the lifelink you need. I'm okay with it. Uh, Bishop of... Binding is actually pretty okay. Do I want to waste the saw? Okay, I'll do it for the singleton. Never going to play that again. Squire's Devotion? I do have to make a Squire's Devotion, I guess. The Haunt of Hawtoan. Hawtoa? Hawtoa is... What's the what's the actual name? Hawtoa. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. It works. It works. Um, I'm going to put a boiling counter on another target vampire. No, don't care about you. Blood Crease Paladin could be okay here. Child of Night also could be okay, just as a as a two one. For the lifelink. Do it for the lifelink. Oh, this guy's gotta be this guy's gotta be in here, right? This is just vampire. Nighthawk. Vengeant Vampire. Four foot when it dies, destroy a creature and opponent controls and you gain four life. This actually seems not terrible. Osworn isn't terrible. I agree with that. Like, this guy actually seems very good. I'm just not going to craft the rare for it, though. Like, I would play a 4-4 life like a 4-6 that just killed any creature. And you gain four when it dies. I did not put Arterial Flow in. Is that is that good enough? Probably good enough as a one of sure. I like Arvad as a vampire. It's just a 3-3 death touch lifelink. I don't think we have any other... Well, this guy's legendary. I think that's probably the only legendary creature we have, though, right? Uh, Vana, I guess. And Haunt. Eh, maybe it's not terrible. It is 5 mana. We have a lot of 5 mana guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 5 mana guys. Yikes, yeah, that's a lot. Gain life, draw a card enchantment? Not yet. Alendra seems great. I really don't want to... I don't think I even have... I have seven Mythic Rares. I don't really want to waste a Mythic Rare on Alendra, though, unfortunately. Not for... Yeah, I could see Reaper making the cut. Doesn't have to be a Vampire. Um... What's the life gain? The life gain... What did you guys say? Oh, I like Profane Procession a lot. I will make one of these. I think we have like 30 regular rares. 43? Yeah, alright. Not a big deal. I do like a Johnny. That was also on my list. A Johnny's Primate could also be good here. How many creatures do we have? 23? That's a good amount. Elgot Inheritance. Actually, gaining life every turn could be good. I 
really don't hate it. We have six more cards we can add? Hmm. Well, cast out is not legal and standard, but I like what you're... I like where your head's at. We'll put a Conclave Tribunal in there instead. How about that? Well, I think we have enough vampires where it's like, that's not going to happen. Make sure we got all the good ones. I think we did. Skymarcher Aspirant's pretty good. I don't think we need one drops, though, except for Legion's Landing. Is there a card where you, like, return a bunch of creatures from the graveyard? I like Vraska's Contempt. Oh, Mortify is nice. I'm down with the Mortif. I'm down with the Vraska's Contempt. How many four drops do we have so far? Not many, I don't think. One, two, three. No, we have a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe we're at our limit for four drops. Gruesome Menagerie is what I was considering, but I'd really like to get back like five drops. Menagerie could be cool, though. We already have a ton of five drops, though. Our curve is looking real fascinating right now. <coughs> You know, a lot of five drop creatures. Well, that's not how you spell that. Let's go ERS. And we'll do these. And these. Two. Oh, I guess not. It's just going to look Planeswalker, not Planeswalkers. A Johnny Wise Counselor. I don't like Immortal Sun just because we do have... I actually only have like one Planeswalker. Maybe Immortal Sun is good. What about Radiant Destiny? And Immortal. I don't actually think I have an Immortal Sun, but I do need to craft an Immortal Sun, so... I'm alright with it. It's on my list. That's 58. We need two more cards. Cast Down? What about Seal Away? Cast D? No? Okay. How about cast do? Alright, we did it. Alright, this is a good 60, I think. What are we missing? We don't have a Radiant Destiny? Okay, so I can't actually make it on here? <laughs> okay. I gotta go find it again. Okay. I think that I think I actually like the way this looks now. Okay, we're looking for black, white land. Is that is that gonna find anything that I want? I don't know, maybe. I think Memorial's fine to add. Same thing with the black one. Godless, Isolated, Orzov. So this is what, 9-9 nine, nine, and then Two memorials and the four duels? Sure. This actually seems good. I kind of like the way this looks. Alright, let's do it. Singleton vampires, my dudes. You guys ready? Ethereal Absolution is busted. I don't know if it's going to be good in art. And maybe it is good. I mean, we have Immortal Sun, right? Which is kind of the same. Maybe we just want two of that effect. Do we just want two? We also have, like, no card draw. Which I worry about because I want to be able to... Um, I 
I want to be able to make sure we hit our land drops. I guess we have Midnight Reaper, and we have a Dusk Legion Zealot. I could play an Orizov Locket. I do like one Ethereal Absolution. It puts us at three six drops, though. That seems like a lot. We just make, maybe it's just take a Bishop of the Bloodstained. It's probably the weakest of the of the five drops. I was thinking of Smothering Tide, but it's not really... I don't know. Alright, we're in it to win it, guys. Let's do it. Love and Crafty, we do have a son. And it is immortal. Also, it's pretty easy, like, I mean, even if you even if you get to even if you're playing against aggro decks, like oftentimes with a with a what's a, with a diluted like one drop slot and two drop slot, like they might just not have the consistency to actually get to you, you know what I mean? Probably just gonna play Bishop here. I'd rather be gaining a couple life before I I don't really need to draw a card yet, especially when we have a Reaper on three. Oh I see. It's your boy. That's true. Twilight Prophet is also card draw, which I like. It's nice. We're just going to play Reaper here and attack with the Soldier, because then we get to draw a card if it dies. We get to draw a card if it dies. Watch, they're going to have a life gain trick and they're going to block. We're going to gain two and we're going to draw a card, but our guy's going to die and it's going to be really sad. Are you guys ready for the sadness? God, I was born ready for the sadness. I mean, we got a 4 drop, a 5 drop, and a 6 drop, and I'm pretty okay with it. Oh, that's even better. Okay, so they, we know they have no more Moment of Triumph in their deck. That's nice. 5-5? Five, five? Alright, I can deal with that. Jitterbug. Uh, do we just pay the 1? I don't think it matters, right? We'll just pay the 1. I'd rather not show them more cards if they have no real benefit to the to the uh, to the discount. Yeah, we essentially traded a two two for a for a, a combat trick, and we drew a card, and we gained a life essentially because we took one. If I double block here, that seems terrible, right? I mean, we're gonna be able to to, to mill them to not mill, but uh to drain them next turn. We also get to attack for... Does this guy have Vigilance? No. Okay. Alright, let's play this. Here comes Untap. That's fine, they can't block this. We still get to draw a card. Oh no, we don't get to draw a card. That's like the rudest thing you could have done. Haunt of Hightower next turn, guys. Let's do it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, no attack. I like it. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, we're doing it. This guy draws us three next turn. Getting, getting toasty, my, bo my boys. We could also just play both of these and keep up the, uh, keep up the ability mana. Yep, this guy's just huge now. I might just actually block with Midnight Reaper here just to draw a card. I don't think we're going to do that, but... Does it have Vigilance now? Yeah, that's worse, but... I kind of like just trading here. I don't think we're going to need the cards, especially with the way our hand is looking. I think that's actually okay. This guy's lifelink, too. And now it's a 4-4. Four -four. I like it. Oh, oh, my goodness. The game just ended, guys. Did you see it end? Did you see it happen? If we tribunal here, actually, this would be like a 7-7... Seven, seven. Like an 8,000, 8,000. But we did not. So we're going to play you. And then I'm just going to Conclave Tribunal this guy. Which we should, probably should have done. Wait, we have enough mana to do that? Hold on. So I can play this guy and still have enough? Yeah, let's do that. She had green mana. It was like, here's a forest. Thanks. Unless that's actually just what it looks like when it convokes. I don't know. 7-7. Seven, seven. Flying lifelink. I'll take it. No blocks, my dude. A commendable block. Celestia symbol. Whatever. Whatever, you nerds. It was actually a Celestia symbol, Frank. Okay, guys. God, unbelievable. I'm sorry, guys. This is rude. I don't know. I'll keep it. Turn two Adanto Vanguard into a Radiant Destiny. Why do I even like you? <laughs> oh, Josh, I love you, buddy. We have a good time. Oh, man, those crying faces at the end, though. You kept that on top with two lands. So it costs one less for exit total power of priest. So one, two, three, four, five. So it costs seven mana and you have three? That was an interesting choice. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, we're going to pay it. <clears throat> 
That's weird that they drew the Galta. Are they going to cheat it into place somehow? Well, that is unfortunate. I'm not a fan of that. I guess we can actually tribunal their tribunal and then attack for a million. That seems okay. So we go one, two, three, four. Get back our Maverin. Maverin. Is that his name? Maverin? Maverin. It is Maverin. One, two, three, four, five. That would be six, seven, eight. question is whether I want to actually use one of these guys to do it. Marvin? <laughs> A Marvin? Yeah, I think it's fine to use the guy to do it. Wow, why would you use that? No. Actually, yes. Wait, is it non-token? Yeah, it's non-token. So we're going to have to use this guy. And the man. Stop making me use this. That is Delta's eight damage. This is where they go. Three mana pump, three mana pump. And then we attack for eight in the air and then we just die immediately. It's going to be utterly unreal. I'm actually kind of afraid of it. Okay, we did it. One, two, three, four. This is... Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to save it this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine. Name Vampire. That should give us the city's blessing. This is non-legendary, so I'm actually going to kill the bird with this instead of the seal away. And we can save seal away for Galta. I think we just... Uh, what's it called? Recovered? Missing a land for that. I guess we're just playing this guy, right? I don't see a reason not to play this guy. I don't think they're going to wipe the board with three or four lands. Block here and here, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think they're dead. I think this is Exaxes. I think this is what they call Exaxes in the biz. Got them! Is that three? Are we 3 0 or 2 0? Gotta be 2 0. Sometimes I black out. Oh, Shauna! Shauna, na, na, na! We're still unbeatable. Like, I don't know how you're ever going to beat us with this deck, because it's actually the most perfect deck that's ever been crafted on MTG Arena, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, we'll deal with it. Sure. So we can play Sky March next turn, reveal this guy, and then just play this guy the turn after that. I feel like our creatures are better than these already, which is nice. Speak of the devil. That doesn't make any sense. We didn't actually mention that guy. So we have three drop, five drops, four drop, five drop, six drop, essentially. Oh, 
Okay. Man, everyone kills this card. Wait, what just happened? Did they target their own guy? Oh, no. I think they targeted their own hunted gentleman. Wow, that's no good. Well, that is... Wrong bips, 420. I guess, I guess hold bong rips. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, that guy's problematic. It does fly as well. God, why does it fly? Well, that's obnoxious. Oh wow, I see. I see we're playing the same game here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Radiant Destiny was a good draw. I just want to play Haunt though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is actually pretty good, I think. Vampire. This is actually, actually, this is pretty bad. This is a bad attack, but they might, they messed up. All right. They did not block it with 3-4. Okay. Well. Yeah, I mean, they have to double block this guy for it to be... If they want to do that, I'll easily take out the Twilight Prophet. Oh, on Sarah's wings is nice. But we have enough blockers to really not worry about it. Five five, huh? Well, that's pretty big, and you have some amount of inevitability here. What if we alpha? None of these guys have life link. They can block three flyers, block two ground guys. They take six. Let's attack with these guys and we'll keep this guy back because maybe he gets huge. Like, I could see you blocking here. Okay. Is it whenever a card is put into the opponent's graveyard? Tokens hit the graveyard momentarily and then they disappear, so... So dead, no dead. Okay, well. Sure, that seems fine. Okay, <clears throat> okay. This guy doesn't have first strike. They can block three guys, they take six, but they are at 16, so, yep, these lands are nice. How about an ethereal absolution off the top? Yeah, I don't think we're in a position to attack anymore. I was hoping this guy would get more than one counter, but... Yep, be a land. Hunter's Hawk. Healer's Hawk. That's actually fine, too. Do we take damage from that? Yikes. Oh, wow. That's pretty good.
It has vigilance. I'm a moron. All right, well, that was cool. Here's a seal away, because you attacked. I'll show it to you. Well, we're probably just dead here. Unless we can draw something good. That is not it. I guess we have one turn. Why don't you have Death Touch? Is Death Touch too good for you? One, two, three. Activate Moro. We have four mana. Eh. Let's see what we can get. Probably just, probably just Haunt is the best card to get here, I guess. I mean, we can get this, but this is just probably better. Is it possible you can just win the game instead of instead of looping Nexus for 20 minutes? Is it is it possible you just win the game instead? Because I feel like that's probably a stronger strategy than just doing doing dumb shit. Go to seven. Then why aren't you conceding? I don't understand like the point. You're just so you're literally intentionally being a dick with no win condition. You understand that someone got banned for that last week, right? Like I don't understand. You're also your name is Build the Wall 2019, which is also absolutely ridiculous. You've literally just confirmed you cannot win the game. So. Are we dead here? I don't know. Probably. We have a lot of life linkers, though. 3 5 can block. 3 3. 3 3 can block this guy. So this is six and then five. I feel like we might be dead here. Wow, this seal would have been great against this vampire sovereign. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to, I guess we just have to flying, flying, flying. Those are blocked. I might just have to trade this guy for a bigger guy, right? Sad as I am to do it. So we're taking three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here, but we're gaining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually think we can. I think we can block here. I don't know for sure, but uh, it's whatever. I think we go to one. Nope, we die. No, we go to one. Wow. I don't know if that matters, though. <laughs> this guy on board is... Pr Actually, we, we traded with the other guy. This, I wish this was gone. Um, yeah, this is game. All right. Well, what can you do?
Man, that's seal away. I'm pretty sure that's seal away play cost us the game because we didn't realize the vigilance. Same, my dude. Wow, why is everyone... Like, we just play against three out of four vampire decks. It's kind of weird. Oh, this is green white. This is not vampires. This is like some kind of life gain nonsense. Radiant to call the feast seems pretty good. I'm actually tempted to get rid of this guy because they didn't really have much to do last turn. However, if we have Radiant down, Call to the Feast is a lot stronger next turn. I mean, I don't want this to flip, though, is the problem. I agree with you. If There's there's no problem if you have win cons in your deck. If you have no win cons and you're just looping to hope your opponent scoops, you're just kind of being a dick. And he just publicly proclaimed it in a, in, a, in a streamer's, like, chat. So, like, I can literally just show Watsy and be like, Hey, man, just want you to know this guy is literally spamming Nexus to win the game when he has no... When he confirmed no win cons left in his deck, so... I see. Well, that is problematic. Dawn of Hope is also a beating. We may have, maybe we wanted to include one Dawn of Hope in here just for the card draw in the late game. Yeah, Dawn of Hope seems like it was an oversight. Uh, one, two. Okay, one, two, three, four. So we go plus one, plus one. We'll wipe out all but one creature. Nope. Oh, good. Really, you chose not to destroy... Oh, we didn't play the Radiant Destiny. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is actually... A vampire. Champion actually draws us 3 next turn. That's pretty good. Oh, wow. No blocks. Fascinating.
Yeah, them drawing like three cards a turn is pretty rough. Us drawing like mono lands is pretty rough. Decided no. So we can actually make a guy this turn, which might be better because this deals like a million damage. Because next turn we can do both, right? So we're getting extra value out of this if we play if we activate it this turn. Because if we play this this turn, we can only I guess we can play we can draw something else that we can play. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Block, block. Don't care about that. Which is how much? Exactly five. Wow. Seems good. trying to get around all this card drawing. Are they not attacking with these? It does make no sense for them to attack here. Jesus Christ, come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six spells. Eleven to six. Well, I mean, this is this is how it goes, I guess. Mm -hmm. So you can pump this guy to what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can make him a six, four, or a six, seven, rather. Yeah, it's fine. No blocks. It's not terrible on this guy. Six, six. They got a rule spell in hand? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, they're going to... One, two, three, four. They don't actually have enough to do that. I have no idea what they're doing this turn. Sell the wreckage? Sell the wreckage would be pretty, pretty, pretty bad for us. I don't think we can win this long game, though. They have four cards in hand. We have two lands in hand. We both have an Adonto, but they have a Dawn of Hope. Like, all I have to do is activate this, make a 1-1. One, one. I mean, Ethereal Absolution would be pretty insane. actually surprised at how much I think I mean if we can find like conclave whatever tribunal like to get rid of the Donna hope I think we're in good shape but the odds of them not having an answer for it in hand is pretty low I think
Can you draw like a Sanctum Seeker? Just the land? Okay, that's cool. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's unreal. I mean, they can't. Can they pump this guy? No. So we can actually get a bunch of dudes out of the way. They go block here, block, block, double block here, maybe? Sure. I'm game. <laughs> we get to kill a lot of things. We get to put Thorn Lieutenant in front, deal three to, to Shauna, and then kill both. Okay, that's also fine. Oh, interesting. Well, we get to kill an Incubation Druid at least. Oh, we get to kill a Shauna too because they're losing two creatures? Wow, that's great. Oh, it's worse. Okay, well, fuck me, I guess. Just when you think you're doing well. Sapperling for, for four. Draw four cards, gain four life. Seems good. Seems good. Yep, resolve all. Don't care. What land will Frank draw next? That is the question, isn't it? Well, they didn't attack. It was my world of glory. That was the land Frank drew next. And good times were had by all. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands. There are 11 lands left in our deck. We have drawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 cards to 11 lands. No. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Six cards to 13 lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven cards to 13 lands. Doesn't feel real to me, but all right. Sounds good. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, we're just fine. Adanto's going to really save us this game. 1-2-2 two, two a turn. We're not dead. I mean, if we draw Ethereal Absolution, like, it's pretty pretty good. Oh, yeah, they can just kill that. That's also good. That's great. Congratulations on being able to do that. Absolution off the top one time. One, just one time. Sure. To the blockers. Block you, block you. Go down to 53. 50, 59. Sounds good. Actually, we should have blocked with all of them. That would have probably been better. Yep. That's actually not the worst. And they can't even use Vivian Reed now? That's actually surprisingly okay. So what do they have a one, two, three, four, five? Oh, and they got the four three. Hmm. That's actually surprisingly good. So is that. Especially with this enchantment in hand. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. 
Now you can draw planes and a swamp each turn. That's that's nice. That is nice. You got it. God, these triggers are going to be insane. Oh, we get two draws. There's one of them. Vana's good if she can survive. Oh man, do we have the life for that too? All right, well, no attacks. Man, this game has been insane. <sighs> Pass two attackers. You're probably attacking with Lyra, dealing us a probably like a thousand damage. Oh, that's actually much better than I thought. Fifteen is fine. I will take fifteen all day. Only 15? Sure. We can take like three more hits. I'm fine with that. Yep, that's fine. Alright, well we are getting somewhere. I think we have to get rid of the... We have like... We, we can get rid of this, take... If we get rid of this or the... Li actually, getting rid of the Lyra first is probably... Or maybe get rid of Dawn of Hope. I, have no, I actually have no idea what to prioritize here. Probably Dawn of Hope. It's probably Dawn of Hope because they only have one, so. But then how many creatures do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I get to draw cards anyway, so. Bishop actually seems okay. Oh, thank God. Woo! Let's get rid of Dawn of Hope. Actually, does this get back anything right now? It doesn't actually, right? Uh, it's still, it's still play it, right? Yeah, there's no reason not to play this. Oh, it's only during your turn. Oh no. It's still our turn. Oh, thank God. Um, yeah, let's get rid of Lyra. It's the only flyer they have. Okay, sorcery speed, got it. Good to know. <laughs> I mean, we have a ton of guys. I'm not really too worried about anything they can do here. Okay, so they have one unknown card, and that's it. All right. As long as they don't have any flyers or... Yeah, this is actually fine. Resolve all of these things. Pass to the blocker step. 2-2 two, two on 2-2. Two, 6-6 two. Six, six on 5-4. 4-5 on 3-4. 1-1 one, one on 15-15. 2-2. 2-2. Two, two. And let's actually get rid of this Amara, I imagine. I think those are blocks. We should have made a guy first, and then we could have actually killed the last one, but whatever, we're getting a million life here. No trample? Okay, good. Go back to 50. Seems good. So 
seems fine. Um, I actually would have blocked this guy instead of this guy. I forgot that this was the uh, Thorn Lieutenant because it's really hard. Uh, we didn't play Mastermind's Acquisition just because we didn't even think about it. Why didn't we attack first? Because they could triple block. That's what I'll tell myself. Sure, I don't know what, let's just, come on. There's a lot of things happening right now. So we can play this guy. Let's make them tapped. No. This guy. I'm not even worried about mana at this point. Uh, they have 22 cards. We have 32 cards. I think we'd actually deck first. No, I don't think we do that. Yeah, I'll trade one for two. Sure. The nice thing about the Immortal Sun is that it's going to get destroyed right now. That is the nice thing about the Immortal Sun. Oh, man. And now they have their Vivian Reef back. Yep, that is brutal. I guess we can kill the Fauna the next turn, which is fine. That's annoying, but... Yeah, thanks for that 2 Five, you have multiple mana to... Okay. Well, this is... Um... Pass the blockers... So one of these guys is not getting blocked. Sure. Oh, back to one one card a turn. That is a good one to hit when they have no flyers, though. Seven, seven life in this deck to just exile any permanent is pretty gas. Although one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is seventeen. I think that's still fine if we just took it. Wait, is this? Oh, it destroys it. It doesn't exile. So that. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah, that's pretty OP. Oh, this guy has... I totally forgot this guy have had, has, has had lifelink. Which is why we've been like... I'm like, how is our life going up so much? I guess these two two vampires are adding up, but... 17? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so... I mean... It's pretty brutal, but... I can't think of an incentive to block unless we want to save, like, two life. This game has been pretty insane, actually. Well, 
It's a good one. Ethereal Absolution would still be insane. I feel like you should have played that first and made a bunch of slimes. You can do like five extra damage probably. Yeah, profane, profane procession and the other one would be good. This is a lot of slimes, boy. I did not realize they had a nil mock. I actually don't even remember when that was cast. I feel like we're holding on a lot, but... Yep, that is not gonna do it. Why do this in response? I don't understand what's going on here. Can we Kaya's Wrath? Oh man, I wish we could. That would be great. I feel like we're just gonna die to this uh, this Carnage Tyrant. Because it's basically a 30-30 or something. 24, huh? Okay, well. <sighs> Do any of my creatures have Death Touch? I don't think so. Let's go to blocks, I guess. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty. Yeah, it's like we, nothing. There's nothing we can do. We just have to like, we're, like this is really bad for us. We just have to hope we can hit like an absolution or a or a profane. No, actually, profane doesn't even do it because it's got because it's uh, it's a carnage tyrant. Oh, we can get rid of the angelic exaltation. That actually could save us. That's actually, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. I'm not sure we're actually attacking here because the six damage to them is probably worse than having a blocker on our side. We might still be dead. We're at four, but we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we can block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. Yeah, we're, we're, we're dead. We're legit dead. Yeah, we should have actually killed that last turn instead of the biogenic ooze. Ah, the biogenic ooze is also a problem, though. Okay, so you're gonna block. No, you're not double. Don't double block that guy. And double block. There's a 2 2. We can just block a 3 3 here instead. I don't know how much we take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But we gain a lot. So I actually think we have it in us to. Are these the best blocks we can make? Probably. I think this 2-2 is probably better suited over here on this 2-2. Alright, well, here's hoping we don't die. <laughs> Still alive. Just like we drew it up, guys. And a planes. <sighs> Let's 
seems good. <laughs> okay. Well, after an epic game, what can you do? You don't die before you gain. It's that is not how lifelink works. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Send us like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore and uh, get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.